I'm Teresa Heredi. I'm the director of winemaking at Gary Farrell Winery, and I have a passion for Pinot. Pinot Noir is incredibly versatile, which is why it's so much fun to make. And we at Gary Farrell Winery have access to, you know, 30 to 40 different vineyards. And each different location has different soil types. And therefore, the Pinot Noir that grows there has different skin thickness, different acidity levels. And so it makes it really fun to make Pinot Noirs that are expressive of the place because of those different qualities. Even stems ripen better in cooler climates, like out on the far west Sonoma coast, than they do in warmer climates. So I use different percentages of whole cluster depending on the climate and how the stems ripen. Clones as well. Some clones have thicker stems and some have thinner stems. So it really makes for a lot of fun when it comes time to make the wines. So I stumbled into winemaking sort of accidentally. Um, when I was at UC Davis in graduate school, I was there studying chemistry. I spent a couple of years working on my doctorate in chemistry. And I met these enology students, viticulture and enology students, because we were all teaching assistants for general chemistry. And there were 400 undergraduate students in the class, so there were 12 graduate teaching assistants. Each of us came from different departments, some of us from chemistry, some from viticulture and enology, for example. And so we started talking about you know, grading exams while talking about our different backgrounds and our different um, projects as well. And so when I was talking about my project, which was peptide synthesis, I was talking about what I was doing for that project, cancer therapeutics research, and then they started talking about wine. They brought wine to the grading sessions. And so they started talking about wine chemistry. And I was like, this is, I had an aha moment because that was really, I loved, I had already been to Burgundy, Bordeaux, and the Rhone Valley probably the year before that. And so it was a it was a no-brainer for me and I transferred into the enology program within days. If I weren't making wine, I would be in science. I would be either working in a lab or who knows, maybe I would have become a nurse or a doctor. I actually was pre-med before I got into wine. And I went to UC Davis to study chemistry because I wanted to be a professor at the university level. So actually, that's probably what I would be doing right now, either working in a lab or teaching students about chemistry. When it comes to Pinot Noir and food pairings, I feel like you could pair it with just about anything. It's somewhere in between a white wine and a red wine. So you could have it with anything from seafood like salmon all the way to, you know, a filet mignon or something like that. But I think because Pinot is so versatile, I think it's more fun to pair it with something that has some spice in it. I was a swimmer in high school, and a lot of people wouldn't guess that about me because I'm a small person, but I was a distant swimmer, uh, first of all, and I love it, I still love swimming. And um, second of all, I don't think people would ever guess that I'm an audiophile, an audio geek. I'm really into audio equipment, and whenever I tell people and talk to people about that, they always are shocked because they don't meet many women who are into audio equipment. A lot of people say that Pinot Noir is really difficult to make. Now, I wouldn't say difficult necessarily, I would say it's very finicky and it's difficult to grow Pinot Noir grapes because it's thin skinned and it doesn't like super cold, foggy, wet weather. So rain is challenging, hail is challenging, and um, I, I find it to be just really expressive of the place because of its thin skins. It's not a super tannic varietal and you really have to dial in your winemaking with a lot of knowledge of the place. I'm excited that Gary Farrell Winery is participating in Passion for Pinot because it seems to be exactly the right group of people that we're looking for to drink Pinot and just enjoy the versatility. Mm -hmm.